We have a tension member which is made of 2014 T651 aluminum. A safety factor of 3 against failure by either butyl fracture or fully plastic yielding is required. In part A, we will find the highest tension force P that can be permitted in service if the crack length is 6 mm. And in part B, we will find the largest crack length that can be safely exist in the member for a force of 6 kN. We know that for a crack in one edge, our stress S gross will be equal to force over Bt. And the stress intensity factor will be the form factor times the stress times pi a. And we know that alpha is a over b. Let's move to part a. We know that our alpha is equal to 6 over 30 for a correct length of 6 millimeters. And it is equal to 0 0.2, which is larger than 0 0.13. Since it is larger than 0 0.13, we have to calculate the form factor from an equation. And our stress intensity factor will be equal to form factor at 0 0.2 times Sg times Pa. From figure 8.12, we have the equation for form factor such as And when we compute this equation for alpha is equal to 0 0.2, we get the form factor as 1.38. So we can say that the stress intensity factor will be equal to 1.38 times the force over 30 millimeters times 4 millimeters times square root of pi times 6 millimeters. And this will be equal to the critical stress intensity factor over the safety factor. From table 8.1, we have the critical stress in intensity factor as 24 MPS, MPA square root of meters and the yield strength as 415 MPA. Since the safety factor is 3, we can say that 24 over 3 MPA square root meters will be equal to 1.38 times the force over 30 millimeters times 4 millimeters times square root of pi times 6 millimeters. And we will obtain the force is equal to 5.07 kilonewtons. Let's move to part B. In part A, we already said that the critical stress intensity factor over the safety factor will be equal to the form factor times S gross times pi times the critical crack length. And when we make some arrangements, we will obtain 
the AC will be equal to 1 over pi times the stress intensity factor over the form factor times safety factor times SG and its square. Let's first assume that we will have an AC such that the alpha will be smaller than 0 0.13. So that we can use the form factor as 1.12. When we compute the equation considering f as 1.12, we get an AC value which is equal to 6.496 millimeters. But when we calculate alpha, It becomes larger than 0 0.13. So we can't make such an assumption. So we have to solve AC is equal to one over form factor square times the rest of the equation, which is 8.1487 millimeters. And when we solve this equation, we will get the critical crack length is 4.81 millimeters.